One Piece is the longest anime I've ever watched, and it's one of the best animes too. What makes it so good, in addition to the wide world and many secrets, there are its amazing fights. Welcome to Anime Lord, and this video I will show you the best top 10 fights in my opinion. There won't be any fights from the movies or from the manga, so let's get started. Number 10, Zoro vs. Pika. Zoro's first real fight after the time skip. In this fight, Zoro shows us some of the new skills he gained during his two-year training with Mihawk. In the face of one of the leaders of the Don Quixote family, Pika, who can absorb an entire city in his body. The swordsman cuts giant Pika's body in half easily using Haki and finishes him off. Next at number 9, Straw Hats vs. Oars. One of the best fights in which the crew united together to defeat the enemy. Usually the fights in One Piece are one-on-one, -on -one, but this time they had to fight together to beat Oars. Even though they were about to lose, yet they kept fighting which gave time to Luffy in its nightmare form. Luffy was able to unleash a series of punches to Oars. The crew reunites once again with Luffy and they finish off Oars. And at number 8 we have Sanji vs Jabra. Watching the real power of the Black Leg Sanji against Jabra, one of the members of the government organization CP9, who ate a Zun fruit and becomes a wolfman. Sanji unleashes his diable Jambe technique for the first time which leaves Jabra no chance of winning. Number 7, Luffy vs. Usopp. It was heartbreaking watching two close members, Luffy and his crewmate Usopp, fight seriously. The fight between the two, because of the pirate crew ship, the going merry that can no longer sail. We see the seriousness of both Luffy and Usopp in this fight, which was the result of Usopp leaving the crew. And straight to our number 6, Luffy vs. Crocodile. <laughs> Crocodile, a Sandman that was almost invincible due to its presence in Arabasta, a country that is mostly desert. Luffy has struggled against him in more than one fight, but in the end you discover his weak point, which was the water, and he managed to defeat him. Number 5, Zoro vs. Killer. One of the supernova and a member of the Captain Kid crew killer, or as it was called in the fight, Kamazo. He did an impressive fight against Zoro. The drawing and animation in this fight were from another level, but Zoro was much stronger and he defeated him. At number 4, Luffy vs. Doflamingo. Dressrosa is the longest arc in One Piece, with over a hundred chapters. A lot has happened in this arc, but the last fight between Luffy and Shichibukai Doflamingo is the one that is the best. The fight was almost even until Luffy activated Gear 4 for the first time. And finally, the fight ends with the defeat of Doflamingo. At number 3, Luffy vs. Luchi. Back. 
To save Nico Robin from the world government and CP9 members, Luffy had to face the leader of CP9, Rob Lucci, in a very close fight. And for the first time in this arc, Luffy uses the Gear 2 and Gear 3 techniques to be able to defeat Lucci in a tough battle. <laughs> Number 2, Luffy vs. Katakuri. One of the three sweet generals and son of the Yonko Big Mom, the owner of the mochi fruit, he also has the ability to see the future. The fight between him and Luffy was so amazing, they were almost equal. It was one of the toughest things Luffy faced on his journey. What is amazing is the integrity of Katakuri. When his sister intervened in the fight and he stabbed Luffy with his spear, he stabbed himself with a spear as well, so that the fight would be fair. Finally, Luffy managed to defeat Katakuri using the Gear 4 Snake Man. Before we go to the first place, it is worth mentioning Zoro vs. Mr. One. Luffy vs. Anel. Luffy vs. Arlong. Alright, finally at number one, Kaido and Big Mom vs. Worst Generation. Luffy, Zoro, Law Kid, and Killer in the face of two of the Yonko, Kaido, and Big Mom, the fight was breathtaking. It is amazing that the characters we saw suffer in front of Admiral Kizaru two years ago, now in the face of two of the strongest characters in One Piece. When they show us an amazing level in their ability to do damage to Yonko, especially the swordsman Zoro, and his ability to cut Kaido as well as receiving the double attack of Kaido and Big Mom. The fight ended with a victory for the Yonko in this round, but the final fight is not over yet. What are your expectations for the end of the arc? Do you agree with me on this ranking? Share your opinion in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel if you like this video for more similar videos and we'll see you in the next video.